Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Max and today is going to be part one of my homemade skin mini-series. I'm going to be showing you affordable ways to make skincare at home. Today is going to be a tutorial on a green tea and honey homemade face mask. Now I find that this face mask is great for getting rid of small bumps, it's great for acne, it's great for wrinkles and fine lines, it's also great for dark spots. I would probably use this face mask about once a week and I find because I get really small bumps on my head this really helps to clear them out. Before anyone comments down below I know that my skin isn't perfect and I also know that everybody's skin's different so I'm just telling you personally it's just something that I've learned has helped me along the way. My skin type is I'd say combination. I have oily skin but also have dry patches and my skin's very sensitive so I have to be careful what I put on my skin and I find that this mask is super super gentle yet really effective for getting rid of acne and small bumps. A few things about why green tea and honey is good for your skin. Green tea actually acts as an antioxidant and it can help protect your skin from UV rays. It's packed with minerals and it can also help moisturise your skin and it also helps fight signs of ageing. Now moving on to honey, honey is actually a natural antibacterial so it's great for preventing and treating acne. It's also very moisturising and soothing so it can help give you glowy skin. Honey is also clarifying because it opens up your pores and makes them easier to unclog. I'm now going to show you how to make the face mask and it's super simple so yeah let's cut right to it. Okay guys so to make the face mask all you need is some honey. I'm just using the Tesco clear honey and I'm using this little glass pot which I'm going to mix the mask in. Next you want to take some green tea, I'm using the Double Dragon Organic Green Tea but you can just use any green tea that doesn't have anything else mixed in with it so I wouldn't get green tea with lemon or a green tea with mint or anything like that just use a normal natural green tea. What I've done is I've just made the cup of tea like I normally would and I'm just going to push all the juices out so it's a little bit drier. Now you can move that cup of tea away, you can drink that if you want, you're not going to need that anymore. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the tea bag open and I'm going to pour everything that's in this tea bag into this glass jar. If it is too hot for your hands then you can just take the tea bag out and let it cool for a bit. Now that all the green tea is in here I'm going to take my honey and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit in at a time. I don't want it to be too runny. I'm just going to mix it into a paste. I think it's still quite dry, so I'm going to add a little bit more honey. As you can see, it's a nice, even consistency. I know it doesn't look the best in the jar, but it's great for our skin, so that's the most important thing. <laughs> Now it's as easy as that, that mask is now ready to put on our face, so I'm going to cut you back to the normal camera and then we'll apply the face mask. Okay, now that we've mixed our face mask up, I'm going to apply it onto my skin. It's going to be pretty messy, it's quite a messy face mask. I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it because it's a little bit easier. And you can either apply it all over your face or just in your problem areas. I'm going to be applying it in my problem areas, which are my forehead and my T-zone. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it onto my skin now. Now I know I look a little bit crazy but it's good for your skin so it's worth it. I'm going to leave that on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and wash it off. When you wash it off you want to move your fingers in an exfoliating movement to really scrub it into your skin to help open up those pores and clean them out. So I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Okay so now that the mask is all washed off my skin is feeling super soft and moisturised. If you did try this at home then let me know in the comments how you got on and if it helped your skin as much as it's helped mine. That's it for this homemade face mask tutorial then guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up. If you've got any comments then comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one.